Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Bendy and the Machine. Let's get out of this toilet. I sat here for a couple of minutes and this Joker did not come back, which is worrying because I kind of feel like I either missed the boat or it's going to be somewhere else and I'm going to come a cropper of it in a minute. <laughs> it's not funny either. Uh, I'm just currently wandering. We went downstairs from level K, which is where we were supposed to be because as good video, video gamers... Again, apologise for my sniffing in my throat. Oh, hello. Uh, as good for you do video gamers, you never go the direction you're supposed to go. You explore everywhere else, absolutely everywhere else you can possibly find first. So this must be level P. We started off on level K. Well, this is 11, I think. Then it was P, then it was 10, then it was 9. This is where we came in. So we go back upstairs to K. I didn't see another downstairs. Did you see another downstairs? Never mind it. Heck it. Go back upstairs. Half expected things to get up. And attack me. Also, not really. Um, that's just weird decorations of single icons. Is that normal? Is that how they decorated Brown Studios in the 20s? The Roaring Twenties, which we have now re-entered. The previous episodes were, of course, recorded in 1999. No, 2019, and this record is being episoded in 2020. So, welcome to the future, everybody. Hope that you're enjoying your stay. I'm going to the ladies. Gents. Little Miracle Station. I'm pretty sure it is just a, a potty. <laughs> yep, yeah, hello. I, I'm very grateful that these things are just one hit. They can be a bit difficult when they overwhelm you, but and uh, when they don't take one hit for some reason. But by and large, they are manageable. The level K is where we followed the angel route like we were supposed to because we're good people, um, and ended up over here. We explored around here a little bit, but we didn't find anything. But now that we have the wrench, press that. Who was this thing? Oh, it's you two. Never mind that. Looking for... Trying to keep note of where the porta potties are so that I can hide in them if necessary. But I haven't actually been um, hunted down by scary demon thing. It's possible that that was just the... Um, so this is what we've been finding. Hearing noises, don't like it. Uh, it's possible that the projector thingy is the demon that we're supposed to be running from and it just moves around the place and shows up in different positions. Uh, so that's going to be terrifying for us once it actually starts being a problem. <laughs> what are we looking for here? So it's gearboxes on level K. But that was the thing that was just going on forever and we saw it enter the ink but we never saw it come out again. Uh, I'm not prepared to sit around and wait for it to come. My back is hurting. Anyone else? Not really enjoying it. I think I sat funny. When I work at home, I sit with my feet up on the desk like a naughty boy. And um, I think I sat really twisted. For <laughs> like my full eight hour day. And um, it wasn't healthy. Because now everything hurts like heck. But this monkey thing properly had a go at us. But the terrifying part of that was mostly simply that it wouldn't die. But it did die. I was worrying at the time that maybe it was an invincible thing and we're supposed to run away from it. But that was not the case. I'm glad that was not the case because I couldn't run away from it. Uh, I was trapped by it. We haven't been here. We go this way. Hearing a noise that I do not like. Oh shit. The monkey thing. Get out of here. Hey, you only took two hits. One down. And you got me some gears. Ooh, I've gone all goosebumpy. But that's okay. No soup here to fix me. Two down. That's going to turn something off, right? Because that's that was moving. You're not turning into a baddie, which worries me. Did you steal it out of here? You did steal it out of there. Fair enough. What? There's many. How many do I need? Nothing in here. Be plenty. Return them to me. Now that we're here. And try not to die on the way back. 
Why don't you protect me, angel? Will you be my avenging angel? That would be sweet. Is this still closed? That's my question. You know what? Let's not play out just walks back and talks about it. <laughs> Half of that is merely for my own sanity. The rest of this is... is the actual game where I scare myself, so you don't have to. Things are still turning. And there's the fact that there are hidey holes up here kind of implies that the the ink demon, which I am assuming is Bendy, because I didn't get a good look at Bendy. This is my problem. You know, I couldn't see the ink demon that I was being chased by at the end of the last episode because it was so fast and I was running away. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. You can tell what time I like to record, because it's the same every day. Right, that's not moving. I'm guessing that was... Oh, no, it is. I can't tell. And you are still creepy, even though I trust you. Oh, this is on level 9. Sammy can bite my sign in that last. That was the first ink guy, so don't get it confused. I think Sammy is the guy in... The ink person wearing the Bendy mask is not Bendy. That was Sammy. Because he was the person whose... Um, whose stuff we had to find when I ended up Googling what I had to do. <laughs> I apologise for, but not that much because it did move on a little bit. And yes, I was being a derp. That's okay. We'll live. Let's go back to Alice. There's no point hanging around. Let's push this forwards. Did do listen to that one? Yes. I've noticed this problem with the elevator. So this is the uh, Alice Angel area of the studio. Let me in. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, swollen searchers. Seven. This is worrying. Um, because this is going to be a new thing. We're not going to be able to defend ourselves because we don't have any way of switching back to the. Uh, unless this will kill the things, right? Please, will it? Not as easily, but it will do. Fine. I'm okay with this, <laughs> surprisingly. I I know I'm a very good liar. I'm an actor, lovey. I'm, I'm a, an entertainer. I'm telling you the things that you want to hear to make you feel better. But inside, I am dying. Why are you going upstairs? I, I mostly wanted to test this. We know that's working. Um, it's a bit harder to kill him, so if we get overwhelmed, we're going to be properly overwhelmed. And the other thing that worries me, of course, is that we have no idea what these Swollen Searchers are. Except for the fact that level 11 was the one after level K, on the way down, which is where we were when we saw the... Ah, that's a different thing. So this is where we were when the... Um... Projector demon was there. I just saw a thing walking here. See that? I think we have to hide in here and wait for that thing. See that? How can you not? Excuse me. We're at an impasse here because. I think that swollen searcher, as it was known, is gonna run away from me. Or it's just that. Nope, that thing is gonna attack me even more than everything else has so far. I am a little bit scared, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Here. 
Hiding in the toilet when you're um, pooping yourself is probably the best place to hide. In fact, it's the best place for a jump scare. This one's going to happen. You going to get up again? No. Something's happening. Where did that come from? What is happening? So are these things just called searches? Is that what I'm learning? These things are called searches, and these ones in particular on level 11 are extra swollen. Or something. Is there special ink up here? Is it this 45 caliber ink that I heard about? Where you have to either loosen or tighten the pipe? Why did you go back and then not come out again? And is this projector person? I see you. Don't, see, don't, don't pretend that this is anything other than what it is. Because I'm here to collect your ink. Yes, that does heal you. Probably wasn't worth the use of it. Nevertheless. I didn't like that. What did I do? Oh, I see. These ones are cropping up independently of those ones. Right. Easy. Not actually quite as horrible and harrowing and scary as I thought it was going to be. I have not seen them, no, since you asked me originally. <laughs> but here we are. Stop this, you monster, insane in the membrane. Why does the lift keep going away? Not even making a noise. I wish you would make a noise. At least to tell me that you're on your way. So much noise in the walls. It's just... I'm stuck on an invisible nothing. Why are you being Once so scared? Time, there was an angel, and she was beautiful and loved okay. She was perfect. Pat, pat. No what Joey Don't worry, says. I've been through worse already. He says, and then obviously opens himself up directly to the next most horrible thing you can think of being immediately visited upon him. Back to the old grind. It's okay. Listen to me. So the person who is currently Alice, Angel, might actually be the uh, I'll make this sort of some weird incarnation of the person who became Alice's voice. Turn the little wheels, then bring me their power cores. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. Or it's the original one, Bungeon. Um who has turned herself into a horrible thing. Solve the ink tubes on core P, or on floor P. Okay. And I can use this to pop this. <laughs> the weirdest system. Okay. Uh, she's either the new voice, or the original oh, voice, or, and I know I'm exhausting all possibilities here, um, she is just a demon made out of ink. It was neither of those people, but I expect that she is one of those people. Because Sammy has tried to turn himself into Bendy, no, he is not bendy. At least he wasn't when I knew him. <laughs> Moving on, level P. This is where we got to when we were exploring for its own sake. Oop, in case bad things happen. Oh, hello. Ow. Pirate monkey, be gone. Nice, what is this? I don't know. It didn't tell me. <coughs> wow. Two hits from a plunger to kill one of those. I guess a wrench or a length of pipe. A little bit more effective. This person doesn't want to work here and this person thinks someone will set them free. Wait, weren't we supposed to be on P before? 
Were you looking for something up here before? Or was I just walking around taking the stairs? Probably that. Soup, please. Bendy in the soup machine. Bendy in the soup kitchen. I'll do. Probably don't need to take it if you're in the clear, so just... I've yet to be visited by the actual Link Demon. How can you reach me that far away? Very rude. Fist. Don't even pretend this is fun. What is going to happen here? We all have to be at the same level, right? Stop it! It's gonna crop up all the time whilst I'm doing this, are you? I just have to turn these in def definitely until it's all at the marked point. Not much of a puzzle, but at the same time, I'm kind of pleased that I don't have to solve the mist style puzzle when all I'm trying to do is unlock this power cord. Oops! Shit! <laughs> Sorry. That's the last of my mead. So that's what Bendy looks like up close. I was hoping that if I stood stock still, it would not be a problem. It was a problem. The other thing is, are you still out there? Are you still there? Now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> are you? How are you feeling? Me? Oh, I'm terrified. Don't worry about me. There's another one. Are we going to assume that when that power core goes out, we're going to get attacked by Bendy again? Let's check over here to see if he's gone. Convince ourselves that he's gone. Looks like he's gone. Whew. Right, what's your escape route? That's what you need to learn. It's right there. Okay. Don't get up. There's another one. That one's been opened by the thing that we attacked that gave us the power call when, when it died. Right, so we're going to go out of there, straight into that. Ready? No! Enough! Stop it! You have to make a noise when you creep up on me. Huh? I'm going to be in all that soup. You're ready this time. It doesn't matter if you die. There's no consequences. Except that. It's really scary. <laughs> Take it. You're quite the efficient little errand boy, aren't you? Get in. Get in. Get in. Let's go. Nothing happened. Hello? <laughs> scary baddies? No? Okay, I'm coming out. Don't hurt me, buddies. You don't hurt me. You don't hurt me. You don't hurt me. Nobody hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay. Don't hurt me. That might have been uh, just an instance of Bendy finding us. Which... Uh, Bendy was definitely the demon. <laughs> Pretty, pretty freaky, but in a handsome way. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Um, hey, there we go. Are you still cowering like a cower? No. Why were you cowering before? What did I do? What did you do? What has happened? Did you think that I was going to be a bendy? Implying. Susie, okay, Susie. Dreams come true. Susie was the original one? Susie mm -hmm. was the one mentioned in the ink with the banks over it. When she went to dinner with Sammy, I guess? Who we now know is a 
horrible person. Here you go, power cores. I don't know why I'm doing this for you, I don't know who you are. But why else am I supposed to do this? Axe. 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 Right, all Bendy cut out. Right. The Bendy is not going to be happy about me destroying the Bendy cutouts, no doubt. Hence, beware the Ink Demon. Oh, excuse me. In my instructions here. There are 15 to destroy. Uh, and we are starting on level K and Heavenly Toys, which are on the same level. And we are going to end up getting back to, no doubt, the decision point at which we could go Angel or Demon. I'm assuming that some of them are through the Demon door and it's now open again or something like that. Because it doesn't seem really sensible that there would be any other <laughs> course of action, I suppose. Uh, I'm very upset that that thing did not show up again. Um, I actually thought this was... This is not K? This is 11. I want K. Did I not press K? Maybe I did press K, and it's messing with me. Maybe I pressed 11. Either way, that was scary. <laughs> that was weird and creepy, and don't do that again. Right, this is where Ben is going to show up. Look at all these things to hide in. Bendy in the freaking me out. Stop it! The monkey. These things are getting a little bit harder to deal with. You're making some funky noises there, brother. Go away, monkey. What? I hit it in the head and it died. Also, it explodes, so... It, not that... It just disappeared to freak me out. They do just destroy the corpses, presumably for standard gameplay reasons, like game engine reasons. I'm, I'm okay with that. What they freak me out with is Bendy's showing back up again. And candles in soup cans. That's freaky too. Right, I'm trying to give myself some <laughs> some chance of finding the 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 porter potties to hide in. Fifteen cutouts to destroy. And Benny's gonna be after me for probably all of them. Not gonna like this very much at all. I'm wondering if I'm gonna end up being chased this way. And then there's gonna be that which is gonna be unable to hide in. And then I'm going to get like rescued by Alice or something when Bendy's chasing me. I'm just theory crafting like this because it makes me feel a little bit better. Thought of. <laughs> because I'm basically coming up with the worst thing that could possibly happen in my imagination. And then, of course, if it actually does happen, uh, it's still going to be horrible because it's... You know, but at least I've imagined it once already. Already thought of it. You do your worst. Okay. No cutouts. I know I've seen some. There's one. I don't really want to do anything just yet until I know where I can hide. I hide here. Because it's not given me any water potties recently. How are you now stronger than the monkeys? See? There's nowhere to hide in any of these places. <laughs> so I'm going to have to run all the way back to the elevator. Okay, we're safe. The 11 left. All the way back to there to find the first hiding space. Which I'm not ha happy with. Because <laughs> it's a long way. Please don't respawn. Or please do respawn. I can hit you again. And my account can go down. Angel does not like Bendy. 
I, I have no idea if this was the case in the cartoon. The other thing is that we don't know anything about the cartoons except for the brief displays that we've seen in the cinema when we were... Oh, there's one. Um, when we were failing to solve a simple music puzzle, right? Yeah. Um, so we, we don't really know about Bendy. Are you? No. Alice is in. But this person was. That was Susie. Allison is a new one. So we can suspect, probably, <laughs> that. Um, let's not go here yet, just in case. I mean, let's not destroy that yet, because we want to know where we can hide. Bendy shows up. Oh, you're not Bendy. I don't mind if you're not Bendy. We, go. we might have to run the way we just came. Um, we didn't listen to this. It looks like Susie has turned herself into this Alice thing. Uh, and presumably it's I getting revenge on Alice. And... So we've, we've, read, we've heard that. Let's uh, take this one down and see if Bendy gets irate. Oh. Were there any more? I tried to break that one and it said no. Alice is immune. Okay, we've been here. The fact that Bendy is not showing up is more terrifying than when Bendy actually does show up and chases me down. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no idea where Bendy is. And at some point, he's going to show up, and that is going to be worse. Is his bark is worse than its bite. Do you remember when Alice showed up? And we were like, oh. She's scary. And now she kind of likes us, and we've made a friend in this horrible place. In fact, the fact that this place is not simply nine left. Um, right, there's a hidey hole. The fact this place is not simply me walking around being terrified by monsters and, you know, creepy cutouts, but it, there is also people. I can see you. See that? I got it. I really want to zoom in to see. Look at this. This model. Look what Bendy's become. Please don't know how to open doors. is not creepy at all. I'm fine. What are you talking about? Me? No. No worries. I'm not here. I'm guessing when all this weird effluvium on the walls goes away, and Bendy has passed? Or is Bendy simply never going away? Hey you! Like it! <laughs> I don't know where you are! Like you're on my left now. So Bendy is surrounded by this stuff. Where did it go away? I didn't expect that. I actually thought that basically we were going to have to wait for Bendy to walk up there or something. <laughs> you do get. I like the fact that you get some warning of that. Made it way less harrowing. Still pretty creepy though. Any more? Three left. So those three. That's two. So there's a lot of telegraphing of Bendy's appearance. It's more than I expected. Okay, we'll keep going this way. Probably one around the corner here or something. And then we're going to get chased by Bendy after all of this. Into that space where we can't get out again. No more cutouts here. And I'm going to be like a touch. And then you'll be like, yeah, you told us so. And I'm going to be like, yeah, but I'm still terrified and we're all going to die. So, just keep talking to yourself. And everything will be fine. <laughs> Hello, Boris. Just take our own little Boris. Oh, come on. 
managed to pick up pieces of bendies when they were stuck in the belts, but when it actually suits me. Another day, another dollar. You know, when I actually want one, when it's just for my own benefit. No, you may not. Well, this is no fun because we're going to be searching for this for a while. Somewhat tempted to pause the recording if I can remember how to do that. Um, but I can find it again. See if it's around the corner. If it's not around the corner, I will pause the recording. Finish off the episode with the final destruction. And bring it back next time. So let's see if... Let's go all the way to the elevator, and if, it's, if I've not found it, then I will do so offline, off camera, off my head. The mead is empty, by the way. Speaking of off my head, off with his head. Also, how does Alice know what we're doing? Bendy has no idea where we are. Constantly looking for me all the time. Made it back to the elevator. None. There's one right behind the elevator I forgot about. Well done, me. Do I want to? Dare I? Now that was fun. Oh, I forgot to mention. He hates it when I do that. I would hide if I were you. Kind of expected this, but I also expected <laughs> not to be able to do it. I will hide. There you are. We'll wait for this to pass, and in order to reduce the tension from the situation, I'm going to say thank you for watching this episode of Bendy and the Ink Machine, which has been way less terrifying than the first three episodes, probably because I'm used to it by now, and secondly, because I managed to recuperate in between, uh, and I've just forgotten how creepy this Bendy thing is, but I will say, hello Bendy, don't look in here, there's nobody in here, if I keep quiet, there will nothing could possibly go wrong. I'm not going to jump out and hit him with an axe, that seems like a terrible idea. So until next time, thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for watching Bendy eventually disappear. And until next time, I'm going to say I'll see you now, but I'm also going to say when he's gone away. So just keep quiet. Maybe he'll leave forever. He just walked through the wall. <laughs> Obviously. And I'll see you.